Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's session, I'm here to discuss internal and external users with respect to Azure Virtual Desktop Deployment. So let's get started. As always, if you're liking these sessions, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this content. Now, AVD is one of the most popular services within Azure portfolio. And when I'm having discussion with the business owner, there is always a confusion between what will be the right licensing need based on the internal and external use case scenario. So let's try to understand this with an example. Let's say there is a company called ABC, which has 20 employees. And to do their daily work, they need access to line of business application and virtualized workload. Now, if they want to use Azure Virtual Desktop, this company will require specific Microsoft 365 licensing. It can be either EMS E3 or E5 suite or business premium, which is all based on number of users. You can go through the Azure documentation to see what is the required licensing requirement for internal use case scenario. Now let's try to compare this with external use case scenario. In this case, there's a company called XYZ and it's an independent software vendor which creates application and they give access to these application to users which are not part of their organization. In this case, this company will require to enroll their subscription in per user access right. For this AVD deployment, they won't need any specific Microsoft 365 licensing, but they still, as I said, they require to need to enroll their subscription in per user access right, which is based on two tiers. You can have remote app or you can have full desktop and remote app, which is $7 and $13 approximately per user every month. But important thing to point out here is that in this scenario, external users shouldn't be confused with external identities, which is typically the case with Azure Active Directory, because AVD does not support guest user or B2B collaboration. But regardless of whatever option you have, whether it's for internal users or external users, in both these scenarios, you still need to pay separately for the Azure resources or Azure compute resources, which is typically the cost of the VM, the storage, or any other component that you'll be deploying within Azure environment. But this is where the licensing requirement for internal and external users will differ. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.